This video is going to cover an alternative way to do drip calculations. So with medicines, everything is used in the metric system of kilograms, grams, milligrams, and micrograms. Well, the metric system is base 10, but in all those units we do, they're base 1,000. So you need to understand how to perform and how to calculate what the dosages are based on their units. So going from kilograms to micrograms, being the biggest to the smallest, start out one kilogram equals 1,000 grams, since this is all base 1,000. So then adding 1,000 basically just adds three zeros to that. So tens, hundreds, thousands. There was a decimal there. So then to go from grams to milligrams, be the same thing, then just add 1,000. So then on the micrograms, same thing. So then you can see here, every unit you, you go up, you're adding a base 1,000. So going up, 1,000 here, another 1,000, and then here. So if this were just one, this would be just 1,000, because you just go up 1,000 each time. All right, so now let's start with some basic math. So lidocaine is probably one of the more common basic drip calculations we'll do. And we know the fundamentals of the lidocaine clock, but sometimes people don't prefer that method or can't remember the lidocaine clock. So we'll go over just how to actually do the real calculations. So say if the dose you're ordered to give is four milligrams per minute. So you'll write it out as four milligrams per minute. So with every dose and every medicine, it's your dose times your concentration. Well, we're in most lidocaine concentrations, two grams per 250 ml. So the way you need to write that out is you got your milligrams here, so grams needs to be on the bottom so you can cross those out. So two grams 250 milliliters. Okay, well now you can't quite cross these out because you have to get equal units. So now you're having to convert grams to milligrams. So here we had one gram would equal 1,000 milligrams. So you need to get rid of grams, so put that on the top. So one gram equals 1,000 milligrams. So now you can cross out grams. Now you can cross out milligrams. Okay, so now you can see the units you're left here with are milliliters per minute. But you need to know drops per minute. So then you'll just figure in your drop set. So milliliters on the top, so in your unit you will need milliliters on the bottom. And using a 60 drop set, because 60 drops equals 1 ml. Okay, well now we can see we can cross out milliliters, milliliters again. So then the units we see are left here are drops per minute. Now it's to the point where you got to calculate it out. So to do the easy stuff, come on on down to here. So you're multiplying your 4 times 250 times 60. So you're doing it out on calculations, 60,000. over 2,000. And solve that out. 30. 30 drops per minute. Because your silicon units here drops on the top per minute. Another way you don't have to put in your calculations to cross, to solve all this out. So you can do a couple different methods. If you want to solve all that out to get these, you can do that and you can start crossing out zeros too. Basic multiplication things. So now you'd be left with 60 divided by 2. Midnight math, we can probably all do that. Or if you even wanted to start this back up here at the top, when you're multiplying 4 times 250 times 60, 
and all that's over 2 times 1,000. You can get and start pulling out the zeros here too. So take out this zero, take out that zero. Okay, so we got another zero up here. If we take that one out, we've got to take one out down here. Okay, well, we're about out of all of our zeros. So then that makes your calculations a little bit easier taking 4 times 25 times 1 times 6. Okay, but when we're doing midnight math, I like to just get and try to solve it all out to where you get the number over the top over this. Or if you're drawing stuff on your run sheet, you might have crossed through all this and don't and miss a number or multiply it again when you didn't mean to, uh, when you needed to cross it out and you didn't. Okay, so Lidocaine. Okay, so let's do one just a little bit more complex. So now let's do dopamine. So just for simplification, we're going to make the patient 100 kilos. So with a dose order to give of 5 micrograms per kilogram per minute, you can go ahead and plug in the patient's weight into this. So if you're giving 5 micrograms per kilogram at 100 kilograms, you've got 500 micrograms that you need to give per minute. Okay, so with drip math, we're doing dose times concentration. And concentration dopamine, 250 ml per 400 micro milligrams. Sorry. So here again, we had the uh, mil micrograms on top, so we put milligrams on the bottom. So now we're going to have to figure out milligrams to micrograms. So up here again, if you're going from milligrams to micrograms, that's just a step of 1,000. So putting on the top here, 1 milligram equals 1,000 micrograms. Okay, so now we're at the point we can start crossing out some units. So we've got milligrams on the top, milligrams on the bottom. Get rid of that. Micrograms, get rid of that. So now we need to put in our drip factor. Because now, because you're at units of milliliters per minute. So milliliters on the top, one milliliter on the bottom, and are using a 60 drop set. 60 drops per ml. So now, crossing out mls, crossing it out mls. So ultimately, we're wanting to get to drops per minute. So on the top, everything's crossed out except drops. On the bottom, everything's crossed out except minutes. So now you can solve for the math. So two methods you can do here. You can draw this out really lengthy to where it's 7,500,000 drops over 400,000 milliliters. So again, we can start crossing out zeros. So taking these out together, these, these, those, and those. Okay, so now you're left with 75 divided by 4, which is 18.75. 18.75 drops per minute. Okay, or as I showed before, you could back this up so you don't have so much out here to do. Just be sure when you do this that you're paying close attention to what you mark out. So here's a zero. It's going to take that out. We'll take that one out with it. So we got some more zeros. Take that one out and that one out. Got another zero. Take that one out and that one out. So we're out of zeros out of that. One more here. So you can take that one out and that one out. So then that would leave you with doing 5 times 25 times 1 times 60. Oopsie, there's where you can get screwed up. Times 6 over 40 times 1. Okay. Then if you write it out this way, and if you see it, you've put 60 like I did here and 40, but you know you already crossed out all the zeros, double check yourself. So then solving for the math, you would still get the same thing.
All right, easy enough.